Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is December the 12th, 2021. Ethereum Classic. Man, let's talk about Ethereum Classic real quick. You guys can see it's been about a month, and it's about time for me to come in and update you all on what I'm noticing on the price chart for Ethereum Classic. So before I do, if today's your first time ever seeing my video and my content, take a look. I make this simple. I make this easy to see and understand. I'm not here to confuse you. I want everyone to understand that you can do this for yourself and that you can actually be more profitable once you erase and peel back all the noise and just look at the price and the volume. You guys will become more proficient at understanding what the market is trying to do. So if you guys want to join me, keep it locked in here. Hit the like button, subscribe, and also subscribe here to the channel because this is what I focus in on. We zoom in on the price and what everyone else is trying to do with the market movements. So let's talk about this last price prediction first, and then I'll tell you all what I'm noticing into the market for them classic. And then we're going to try to see and make a determination if this market is still a buy, right? So right here, November the 14th, what's the last video? Yeah, it was. And you guys can actually go back and listen and see that video. I'm not hiding anything from our subscribers. It is still there in our Ethereum Classic playlist. I was telling you all then, look for the price in Ethereum Classic to go down. Yeah, I did. And you guys can see that the market in Ethereum Classic has done exactly that. Price has went down. See, this it wasn't hard, it wasn't confusing. We were already in position for this movement lower. 28.06% right there. Now we wanted the market to hold support right there around 39.50. But take a look. The market in Ethereum class actually came all the way down to $30 on December the 4th. If you was able to time that at the very bottom, congratulations because that was around 48% profitability. Good job. But we'll take the 28%, right? Because this is what we originally anticipated in the first place. So let me get rid of it. It's done. That's over. So let's clean this up, though. You guys can see that the majority of the market action ever since the May time frame, we've just been seeing price in Ethereum Classic trade between $40 all the way up there to 80 Now, you guys can see the majority of the trading has happened well below $80, though, right there around 40 So what we need to do is we need to come in and revise this price chart, right? The market has given us a little bit more information that we can actually see what is going on. So let me move this horizontal line right here. And we're going to bring it all the way down to that low that came in on December the 4th. This is where the market buyers are at, right? And we should already understand that that was the case because look at what happened during April time frame. The market still held support right there around $26. So we appreciate the market giving us that information because we needed to find a support price in order for us to think if Ethereum Classic is still a buy. Well, the market has already given us that on the 4th, okay? So pretty good. We got that stated. That is already seen on the chart. We appreciate the buyers showing us this information because as long as that's the case, as long as price in Ethereum Classic holds $30, guess what? Yeah, we can expect price to bounce from there and go up. Now, let's do this here. Let me take a look at the market price on a three-day time frame in Ethereum Classic because you guys can see as I zoom in on this particular price chart that the market here is not necessarily weak. No, it's not. Ever since we came and bounced off $28 in the market for Ethereum Classic, the market has been up eight, has been able to uphold its price. We haven't seen price go down yet. Look at this on a three day, I mean on a five day. This last five day price bar, we will have to definitely pay attention because the spread is a lot smaller than its previous five day, right? And the volume was pretty decent, it's healthy, but the market didn't fall. So we're still seeing the buyers appearing here. Let's look at this on the weekly. This is the weekly time frame. So again, we got five hours and 20 minutes left before this current weekly price bar ends and we're not really seeing that volatility that we saw last week. What's going on? Why is this current weekly price spread a lot smaller than the previous week? Because the market is holding support. This is where the buyers are at. Again, not only are we seeing buyers at $30, they're also here, look. You see that right here on this weekly price bar that happened on July the 19th? Yeah, either the buyers are here or the sellers are pushing pressure on the price movement. Market is trying to go up. Okay, I'm here to tell you that today. Right now, the market price in Ethereum Classic is trying to go up. But are we seeing the market hit the ceiling because of what happened back in July? 
that once acted as support back in July is now going to be restriction. It's now going to be resistance in the market for Ethereum Classic. So let's look at this on an hourly time frame, right? Let's look at this on 11 hour because this actually tells us a lot of information. And looking at this from an 11 hour price chart, I'm not seeing any weakness. This is definitely showing a whole lot of strength. I'm looking for the price in Ethereum Classic to go up from here. Look at this. We're even noticing that the buyers are coming in around $36. The answers are already here. It's not hard. It shouldn't be confusing to us. The only way you become more confused is when you have technical indicators on your charts. That is a great disservice to anyone who is trying to rely on technical indicators. The people, the market tells us what the market wants to do. And currently it's telling us that it wants to go up. So who are we to get in the way? We want to ride the same train as them. We want to get in with them. So if the price wants to go up in Ethereum Classic, let's follow them. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's follow the market and say we're going to expect the price to go up. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Okay. And I'm going to expect the price in Ethereum Classic to go up so long as price holds $28, $29. Okay. Yes, I am. So let me go ahead and extend this out a little bit further towards the beginning of 2022. Okay. Now let's talk about this. If we're looking for the price in Ethereum classes to go up, right? Um, how high you think it's going to go? Right? That's the next thing. Because we don't want to stay on the train way before price begins to go down. We don't want to overstay our welcome. We want to come in, grab the bag, grab the profit, and move on. We don't want to overstay it. Because when we overstay, the market become greedy. You want to get a little bit more profitability out the market, squeeze a little bit more out the tube when, and then the trade goes against you, right? We don't like that. So let's try to figure out how high the market's going to go in this movement, okay? Because I'm already seeing this here, okay? Right there around $44.50. We got to be careful right there because this area literally is going to be acting as restriction. So given that that's the case, yeah, we may want to take some profitability off the market at $44 and 50 cents. Is that 45, 44.50. Okay. That's 17%. I mean, that's still a decent move though for Ethereum Classic to go up 17%. We'll do that. That's the first area of TP right there. Second area. It's going to be around 50. Okay. That's it. Those are the two areas, $44 and 50 cents first. Second area is going to be 50. Okay. Let me get rid of this because we don't need it up there. Price is not even trading up there right now. So let me get rid of that. But this is currently what I'm looking forward to into the market in Ethereum Classic. I'm looking for the price to go up. First area for us to eat off the market is $44 and 50 cents. Second area is 50. Okay. So that is it. I'm done. Simple, right? It wasn't hard. It wasn't complicated. You guys can actually leave me a comment right now and tell me, let me know for real. Where do you think the market in Ethereum classes is going to go to round out the rest of 2021? Are we going to go up or are we going to continue to see the price go down? I have given you my thoughts. You guys can see my prediction. So now I want you all to tell me what is yours. Let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.